the funding for your child's ed education on the minds of leaders tonight in order to boost things like improved graduation rates and test scores. CCSD says changes need to happen, and those changes come down to money. 8 News Now, Shakela Alvarenga was at a meeting tonight where trustees talked about CCSD's funding issues. Well, that's right, Brian. As you know, it is a major problem that the district has been dealing with for a while. Tonight, school trustees hosted a meeting to discuss funding education in Nevada, giving both parents and teachers the opportunity to learn more about the topic as the legislative session enters into its second month. I am a product of the Clark County School District, um, as well as my my own children went through the school system, and now I'm a teacher, and we've never had uh, appropriate funding for education in Nevada, and that needs to change now. Hope for Nevada, an advocacy group called for revising the Nevada plan, which has been in place since the 1960s. The Nevada plan is a complex formula made up of local, state, and federal revenue streams that pay for our state's K-12 through public schools. They also want legislators to use new revenue sources to help funding, such as those that come from marijuana and room taxes. 8 News Now has talked to the superintendent, Jesus Jara, about this many times, and one of his goals is to make the funding system System stronger. We have been um, historically raising the bar academically, but we haven't been addressing the core issue, which is that funding formula. Update it, let's modernize it, and then we can then do what we need to do for, for our students. School officials say legislators need to be held accountable. There needs to be transparency to ensure that the district's resources are used effectively. And if that doesn't happen, well, they need to be voted out. Back to you.